When did you learn of your parents' fate? I never believed it. I did, you know, because during, <coughs> during the war, my sister taught me to say uh, th this prayer. Cher bon Dieu, faites que maman revienne demain. Faites que papa revienne demain. Faites que la guerre finisse demain. Merci. <laughs> Can you translate that, please? Say, Dear God, make it so uh, mother is coming home tomorrow. Because we would say the prayer at night. Make it so father would come father is coming home tomorrow and make it so the the war ends tomorrow thank you and uh, so anyways we uh, uh, I, I had said that prayer nearly every day during my you know hiding time nearly every day I mean I used to talk I used to tell the children in, in Chamonix that I wasn't sure about my dad because I knew, I realized how ill he was and I already knew at that time that I had heard of bad treatments, you know, in the camps or what. So I was old enough to realize that he may not, you know, may not have been able to live. But I, I was absolutely adamant that my mother was going to come back so I would tell the children that I was going to see my mother again, you know. I remember it was a very sad day where I had been particularly thinking about my mother and uh, wondering why she was taking so long to come back and realizing that she may be dead but I refused to believe. After all, I was 10 years old, you know, and there was a lot of things by then that I had, you know, that I was realizing. But I remember being, uh, feeling very extremely lonely and wanting my mother, wanting to be able to talk to her, you know.